Eric Mother, mother.com. Take a look at AXIM, which had a nice run this past week. At some point, it was up about 130%. Let's say 120%, just to be fair. About 120% after our buy point took about four days, which is pretty much this move from about 866 to the highs here, just above 20. As you can see, the stock was discussed for subscribers here. January 8th right there and as you can see the buy point was when the stock cleared 8.66 right here To fully understand why I liked the stock at the time, one would have to look at this playlist here to understand why the stock looked very promising, mainly because RSI looked like would have a chance of staying above 69.1. So take a look at this playlist to understand that. Also, one would have to understand this phenomenon on the RSI, which I call the map. Or the more the angle of penetration which was in play also one would have to understand the ultimate more the breakout based on all these playlists on my channel so if you can understand all these simple things well they're simple once you understand what they are but that was the reason why the stock was on focus also as part of our watch list and so as of Thursday this past week take a look at the RSI was doing that was a map situation or a sharp angle of penetration as the stock moved above 69.1 stock held above that 69.1 level monthly RSI is at three-year highs and also we see that the MACDs were also moving to three-year highs so MACDs three-year highs on the MACDs which is our minimum requirements for quality breakouts and of course RSI as I stated was above 69.1 that's the monthly if you take a look at the weekly take a look at this sharp angle of penetration on the RSI as it moved above 69.1 that's a quality that you're looking for in terms this was the stock telling you that it had a chance if it broke out for a spike so if it cleared the monthly closing high actually it was the weekly closing high here after some consolidation after some consolidation we knew that if it would clear that level at 8.66 that might be a sign that it might want to do something similar to this sharp angle of penetration which might explain why it went on a nice run as of thursday stock was trading well take a look at the daily you got this breakout previously which was successful not only was the breakout successful it had a second day to the upside after the breakout that's the type of dna makeup you're looking for a quality name and so you know if it breaks out again which is where we had set our buy point which was here at 8.66 and stock blasted higher had a couple of days to the upside yes was down on friday but still a nice run for the week keep in mind take a look at this uniform activity bounce when the stock came back and pulled back here during the base formation it held rsi 50 one of the other things we look for is uniform activity bounce at the 50 level we got that right there and of course on hindsight we can see that the stock went on a nice run now let's consider what happened on friday we can see friday the stock saw a big drop down about 26 percent 
again we see why we should always be taking profits here the stock was at just under nine dollars our buy point was 8.66 you have a stock run up in four days more than 120 percent clearly you should be taking some serious profits at any rate with a 26 percent pullback on friday of course now the question is what next when of course we don't know what next but let's take a look at the let's take a look at the monthly chart as of right now the monthly chart continues trading above 69.1 so we haven't seen any major change on the monthly chart continues to be strong take a look at the weekly weekly rsi continues to be strong right here the weekly rsi continues to hold above 69.1 and take a look at the hourly hourly chart coming back to show support with uniform activity at RSI 50 level which is why it, sto it stopped going down here just under $13 so we can say this that based on the hourly chart one thing we can look at is either it whether it finds support on the RSI lows line so let's take all that off so if you're looking for a reason to continue holding RSI lows line there says as long as it's bouncing on this line you can anticipate a little bit of a stability here otherwise if it breaks below that support line on the hourly short term that might be evidence of the idea that it might see a deeper drop so the hourly is holding support you can hold on to it but keep in mind if you are part of the original breakout at 8.66 clearly should be taking some profits even around current levels lots for us to digest otherwise eric mother with mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e i see s Woo.